Good morning, friends. Uh, let us start with our first uh, series on financial management and control systems. Uh, in, last, in my last video, I have narrated you various uh, topics which we are going to cover in this financial management and control systems. Uh, in the whole financial management and control systems, we will be covering the point of view of the organization and uh, those who are working with uh, the organization where such control systems are necessary, maybe in finance or marketing, it will be useful for them. So let us look at the first such chapter of financial control system. There are basically four elements as a detector, as an assessor or a effector and a communication network. In an example of automobile driver, we will be having one automobile driver if you compare with those assessor or effector and a control systems, we will be having actual speed is detected by the eye that observes this speedometer, which is a driver's eye. The brain assesses the speed in comparison with the driver's desired speed, means effector. They will be having the, uh, if the brain judges that the speed is too fast, it directs the foot to ease up the accelerator. So it is a communication channel. The detected speed and actions are conveyed by the nerves. So this all will become the control system in terms of the automobile driver. So what is the nature of the MCS? There are three words in the title, management, then control, and then the systems. So management is a core team. The control is the process by which the manager influences other members of the organization and systems with it is within which or by which the whole controls are managed so first is strategy formulation then we come to a management controls and then there is a task control so if you look at the downward team will be doing the task upper higher people will do a management control and then there is a strategy so in other words, it is a task, then strategies, and there is a goal strategies or the policies. So um, there are certain activities which is to be taken into account. That is planning, coordinating, communicating, evaluating the information, and deciding what, if any, action should be taken and influencing the people. This is what uh, normally uh, background of the control activities. Uh, there are certain behavioral considerations in MCS. Um, managers have the personal goal as well as the uh, their organizational goal. And uh, sometimes they, you know, they compromise the uh, organizational goal to satisfy their personal goal. It is called as a goal congruence. There is a whole chapter into it that we will take it later. Uh, there are tools to implement the strategy that is management control then human resource management it has to cultivate into a culture of the people as the organizational culture and based on that we will come to perform so it will be management control then hrm then culture then organizational structure there are two type of the emphasis one is a financial emphasis and another is non financial emphasis so MCS puts uh, put the stress on the financial as well as the non-financial emphasis. The financial emphasis are bottom line, ROE means return on equity, then ROI, then EVA, economic value added. Uh, non-financial dimensions are product quality, market share, customer satisfaction, on-time delivery, employee morale, uh, process improvement, etc. And the balance scorecard is a way of incorporating both the above. Now, nowadays, there are many systems by which a performance of a manager is evaluated. Then what are the aid in the, the developing new strategies? I'll be with very fast, uh, friends, uh, because we need to cover approximately 250 slides in over uh, 15 lectures. So you can uh, run through this video again and again to un understand uh, what, what are the uh, covered into this particular. So primary law of management control is to help in execution of the chosen strategies. They will also have to think on the new strategies. 
and uh, if there are some troubles example loss of market shares customer complaint etc and opportunity are opening up of a new market so uh, due to the interactive controls it means calls to management attention on trouble or opportunity um, the managers are mostly uh, put the emphasis on this particular uh, new strategies let us go to the formulation of a strategy um, it is a process of deciding on the goals of the organization and strategies for attaining these goals goals are timeless as we all know and they exist till they are changed and they are changed only rarely uh, goals for the profit organization and non profit organization are, are different normally uh, because profit organization goals will be a wealth maximization and non profit organization is to reach to a needy people strategies are plans and, and states the way the direction in which senior management wants the organization to grow distinction between the management control and the strategy formulation basically there are four distinctions strategic uh, formulations is a process of deciding of new strategy whereas management control is a process of deciding how to implement their particular strategy strategic finance is unsystematic whereas a management control is systematic whenever a threat is perceived or a new idea surfaces strategy formulation takes place and management control processes take place according to the more or less fixed timetable and with the series of steps let us take one example today or from last one month to today the 31st day of the lockdown in this situation this every organization are changing their strategy to stand in the market or to uh, sustain in the market to sustain in the market the strategy is formulated every week or every fortnight or even every day for some matter and to achieve that the control processes are made and it is implemented by the down the line team on a on a weekly basis so this is what the formulation of, of this strategy and it is on the spur of a moment uh, because sometime uh, if something is de declared today evening tomorrow the strategy will change so there are task controls based on the strategy the task will come into place and the various methodology are there to, to control the task <laughs> i just keep this two slide because mostly it is covered in, in our erp chapter and the mrp chapter uh, in the next uh, subject or the next series what we will have the next lecture will be understanding the goals profitability maximization of shareholder value and concept of the strategy so with this friends to today we'll be having uh, this much uh, thank you very much for patient hearing and uh, we will be having the next uh, series maybe uh, maybe four to five days we'll take every alternate days we'll be having one lecture on this thank you very much